two brothers. One destiny. Gordon the Gamer and Death Wolf are GCB Gaming. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the GCB Gaming channel. My name is Gordon the Gamer, and I am running away from a bunch of zombies, which, to be honest, is pretty much all I do in the game of Dead Frontier. That, and I hide behind this wonderful gentleman. I call him Death Wolf. Sometimes I call him Human Shield, or Meat Wagon Person Thing. Hi, guys. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. I randomly started talking. It's probably not the best idea in the world. Huh. Okay, the current mission is we have to find a trace of Charlotte. So whether that is, um, you know, a lock of hair or, you know, her severed, dismembered, mutilated corpse, I, I'm really uncertain. I'm heading down. You're heading down? Okay, I've got to get through these bad guys, uh, which is all right. It's all right. Oh, someone screamed. Someone the screamed. wiki wasn't lying when it said this is high aggro. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I am noticing that these missions are pretty much as hard as Fort Pastor, and everyone was saying on the on the thing when we started moving, they were like, oh, no. Wow! They were all going, it's just as tough, it's just as tough, and I was like, no, nah, it can't be, it can't be. Uh, any, any moment now, we're, we're packing bags and heading back to docks. <laughs> I just want to complete one mission. I haven't completed a mission since dogs. I'm down at the crossroads, by the way, at the bottom. Fair enough, you already ran past me and my horde. Uh, well, I, you looked like you were handling them quite well. Yeah, uh, well, most of them are in pieces. Yeah, good. Well, I've got one of those tenderly armed people. Okay. I need a bigger gun. How would a obliterator cannon or a bane blade cannon do? A what? Went why who? Hey? Imperial Guard battle tank cannons. Ah! Warhammer! A game yes. that I am... I found some question marks. I can't search them. I, I, I think we probably would be better off staying together, maybe. Well... Where are you? I'm about to get to the middle crossroads. Uh, yeah, I meant the middle crossroads and then I went up. Okay. Ah. Dear. Well, Blimey seeing as we're it. talking all geeky and hopefully I can distract you long enough not to die. Hopefully, um, hopefully. Distract the zombies, don't distract me. Fair enough. We'll put your face the in their mouth and let them eat you. I tried, but my sword keeps getting in the way. Oh, well, that that's very thoughtful of you. Ah, I'm... Re well, I was about to say, relatively low aggro for a moment. Um, you cursed it. Yeah, pretty much. I've got vomity people on me. How do I get... I, I need I need you to come here and like dress in drag and do the hula. Oh, I'm about to die. I lagged up a bit. Ah oh, no! Oh, Petrol got me. Ah! Uh, Damn it! That was probably the quickest I've ever died. Oh, are you dead now? Yeah. Damn the it! Petrol just pounded me in the face <laughs> several times over. Ah. Okay. Uh, I am inches away from leveling up, baby. Oh yeah. Screw the mission! Up as soon as I um, revive. Uh, I, I'm going to go and hide the other side of the orange arrows. <laughs> ah! Oh dear. You're going to do the easy technique of run and hide. Oh, you can search this area as well. You can search four areas. You've done... Where did you go? Left or right? I went up. So, yeah, you can search to the right and down one as well. Okay, okay. Well, just basically a uh, two by two square. Okay, you, you be my map man. Fair enough. Because I think, can you see where the possible areas of searchability are using the GPS thing? I don't think I can. But I'm sure there was. Give me a second. Gordon the Gamer 2 is now popping up on my yeah. um, Dead Frontier oh, that GPS. That is a clarification I need to make, by the way. People have been checking out Gordon the Gamer and going, oh, he's just a level one character. And I'm like, yeah, that's because I let my original character. Uh, accidentally expire because uh, with a lot of these games I, I, I originally start out by having like my personal game which is the game I play and I don't broadcast and then I have the the broadcasting game the one that I share online with all of you lovely people as you watch me be epic and kill zombies but um, 
yeah, I, I stopped using my original character and I just carried on with Gordon the Gamer 2, which is the one that broadcasts that people join in with and play with and so on. Uh, so yeah, so this is really, I'm just Gordon the Gamer 2 now. That's and it. And the loot spots do show up. They do. Awesome. I went left, by the way, but you'll see that when you check out your map. Well, all I get is a spot saying where you are, not where you are on the actual map. Ah, crapsicles. Okay, anywhere that looks really hot for hot spots. Um, whereabouts are you? Because you're in an area that's basically got three vertical roads. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see that. Ha! So, are you on the middle road, or are you on the left, or the right? Damn it. Uh, what? middle. I think. Okay. You've got three in a car park to your left. One of them is a bus. Whoa, where did that come from? Someone screamed at me. There's going to be plenty. I walked past a school bus and heard a scream. Oh, memories. Maybe it's a school <laughs> girl. <laughs> it's your own fault for sit sitting outside of that school. Oh, very Dressed true. Freddy Krueger. Well, you know, you got to have a hobby. There should, if you, you know, just kids probably past... don't even know who Freddy Krueger is nowadays, do they? Well, that wasn't a, a film. Uh, there was a film released not that long ago. Was there? Yeah, it was probably a Rob Zombie. Oh, okay. Well, no, uh, I don't mind Rob Zombie stuff. Saying not that long ago, it was a few years. Ah. Uh, like, seven. damn it! Being hit. So. Don't like being punched in the face. Smeg off. Yeah. There's Kendall face. There we go. Got him. Pretty much where you are, there's a lot around. Yeah, okay. I've just got to get rid of all the zombies. Yeah, that's that's the hard part. Getting rid of the zombies. I kind of wish you could just stand in a corner and actually clear them all out. But the fact is, the more you kill, the more that turn up. Yeah, it's annoying. And uh, I haven't got my six seconds spare to go and... Uh, Damn it, I've seen people put messages in writing done at the bottom. Wah! Lamp post. I yes, away. are they actually done? Are they just saying done and going to a different area to carry on? Don't know. At the end of the day, I, like when I first started, the first couple of things, like people going, oh, where did you find the doll? Where did you find the doll? And I'm like, it's different for everyone, so... Yeah, well, originally, I don't think it was. It was in one static place. See, that's good. I like that. Like, if you had to go and collect ten barrels of toilet roll because... You know, King Lord zombie knobhead's got, like, diarrhea. Then, if there's ten of you, you'll just go and find one. Mission accomplished. But then you share the experience. Yeah. Well, well to to do that. You still in one piece? Yeah, just about. I just like screaming. How's Makes you feel alive. I've lost track of the time. I'm just going to make this one long recording ah, of zombie death. And more importantly, 100% experience. Yay! Um, I loved up when I respawned. Damn it. Crap! I just found a body. I was about to search it and then, uh, yeah, the zombies came. This is basically just a let's see how long Gordon can survive game, I think. Um, well, longer than me. For once! I know, it's crazy. Yeah. Although we, we would have been better off if uh, we didn't make a mistake earlier, which was we barricaded ourselves in, healed ourselves up, and then we we went for a little stroll, you know, into the face of danger, killed some zombies epically. We were quite heroic, both of us, I think. Um, but yeah, we, we I unbarricaded, and then Death Wolf I barricade, it. losing our spare set of planks. And so we need a house with one barricadable door in now. So if anyone could, like, make us a full list of places around yes, here... Yes, you can call it Gordon call. the Gamer's Poo His Pants Spots. And it'll be all the places you're most likely to find me cowering and pooing my pants. Useless... Ah, oh, I managed to stop and search somewhere. Useless junk, though. Typical. Okay, let's just... I think I've found if I don't bother hitting people, eventually they just tire of trying to eat me. Maybe. Okay. Ah. Uh, spoke too soon. Too soon did I speak. Ah. Uh, yeah. Run. Okay. 
Or maybe I did actually kill all the zombies. Maybe. I saw in like a zombie searching. movie they were using a garden trimmer to take off zombie heads. I thought that was quite clever. So what were they with? They were using a garden trimmer, was it? Oh, what movie was it? I can't remember. Could have been plenty. In a real zombie apocalypse, what would be your weapon of choice? Did we discuss this on air last time? I can't remember. We may have discussed it before, but I don't think it was last time. No? Oh. Well, basically, my weapon of choice would be... Some short, blunt, easy to squish a brain. This is bearing in mind we are kill the brain zombies, okay? Not like these ones that can just keep going, but if they're kill the brain zombie, so you gotta, you know, like in Walking Dead, smack him in the head and they're gone, then I would definitely go for a short, blunt object, something like a hammer, and some sort of shield device. I was originally thinking some sort of like copper pipe on my arm and then the zombie can go to town on the copper pipe and I can bash their skull in. That was my plan, so. But I pointed out the failure of this because yes, you're, you've got copper wrapped around your arm. What happens if he pushes you over? But not just that. If they bite in, there's something that it, they don't suffer pain, so they're just going to keep biting. Do they bite a lot harder because the pain doesn't kick in saying stop? Or would it just push their teeth into their skull? Well, my thought was it would push their teeth into their skull. Because, now bearing in mind, it is, you know, scary monster Hollywood props and not real flesh and bone and so on. And I'm a grown up and I'm well aware of that fact. But, um, you know, it does look quite easy to stick something in a zombie brain. You know, as yep. if their bodies are getting old and decaying and rotting and, you know, it becomes easier to, to pummel their face in. So, my thought is if their bones are getting softer and their brain heads and so on are getting softer, then their jaws would break if they bite too hard. Maybe, but what if it's someone freshly turned? They're still going to be as human as you are, basically. That is very true. Um, I don't know what I would do then. I think we'd have to experiment. I, I envision if there was a zombie apocalypse, I'd be one of the crazy science people that occasionally, against all moral goodness, captured a zombie to see its weaknesses. See, I'd wait for someone to annoy me, then use them as an experiment by throwing them into a horde of zombies. I don't know whether you'd actually be able to do that. Well, you sort of kneecap them and just give them a radio and then you can talk to them, so... Once they stop swearing at you... I don't think they're going to swear at you. I think they're going to swear vengeance upon you and then eat you. And find Maybe. a way to make sure that their scary zombie body will actually make a meal of you. Scream up! Damn it! Oh dear. Whew. Cheers, Screamer. Thanks for that. Thanks for coming along, making my day good. Because if it wasn't for you, I could have searched that body! Vomity people make me sick. It is a bit like a student party though, when you get three or four of them on you and they're all just and It's just like, no, you don't know do that. what bad student parties are like. I used to organise bad student parties. By bad, I mean really good, by the way. Uh, hey, at least you go. never failed to organise a piss up in a brewery. No, no, I succeeded. Others may have failed though. Damn it! They seem to, like, strategically put screamy girls right next to searchable places. Best thing to do. No, not really. Not if you're me, and you're scared of dying. Whew. Or just hoping you've gained enough experience so that when the inevitable happens, which it surely will, um, I can actually uh, level up. Put some more experience into my uh, ranged weapons. I am working on my... Uh, rifle skills at the moment after after your suggestions really if it wasn't for the viewers suggesting rifles I probably wouldn't have done that wow damn it that guy's bringing spiders along Woo -hoo. oh Not you're good. welcome yeah he walks all the bad guys in front of me and I take the flak I've just run up north I think I might have left the area though for the mission 
Let's just see if oh, there's no, updates. No, I'm good, I'm good, I'm still good. No, you can't go north from where you are. Okay, no further north. Fair enough. This is quite a large area to have to be Ooh, uh searching. This says you've gone down one, so yeah, you put are you just jumping between the two? I pretty much well, I've just gone up. Damn it! What happened? Spider. Damn it! Take that sword in the fa- Damn it! No, I'm gone! Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. Gordon the Gamer is out.